More lazy game design, I'm not sure. A little bit of column A and B, I'm guessing. So oh, these guys. Hell. These guys, I'm pretty certain, are remnants of Dejul the Anarchist and Bane, the Druids, experimentations in Dark Eden from Blood Omen 1. Um, I don't actually have proof of that statement. I'm just going to assume that I'm correct. And I'm not in the mood to argue. Awesome. Oh, wow, also, you got wrecked. Yeah, I fell in the swamp, and the swamp actually stops you from moving fast, and that didn't help any. Mm. On the plus side, I can now wa walk through the swamp uh, unhindered, since water doesn't have any effect in the spectral realm. Right. Your progress will now not hitherto be impeded, therefore, ergo. Wow, that was the best Elder God impression I've heard in a ever. <laughs> I was going to say a long time, but n I've never actually heard anyone do it before, so good job. <laughs> Go me! At least they're kind enough to put a Banff point right back at the save point there. Yeah, that's really handy. And from here, everything is pretty much identical. The only real difference in this area, as you can tell, is the the uh, Ignis Fatuous and the birds who were with Vordor are gone. Hmm. The passage of time had indeed cleared my way forward, enabling me to explore the northern mountains of Nosgoth. I was anxious to discover if some evidence of Janos Ordren's existence might still remain. And of course, the camera puts you in a really weird position, so it's kind of hard to figure out where you're supposed to go. But thankfully, we can climb up this thing now and head into an actual new area. Uh, it's a good thing that Raziel told us two, three, three, four videos ago that we would be climbing up here later. I was, I was worried. And it's also good he repeated every video after that at least once, just in case we forgot to. Kind of goes with the whole uh, people being too knowledgeable theme. Yeah, very much so. Is it just me, or does the Reaver get more powerful as it consumes more souls? It, seems, it seems something like that. I actually haven't pieced it all together. I've noticed that as you, if you consume a soul, and then you attack a guy right after it, a lot of the time it'll insta-kill the next guy. Like that. Like so. And sometimes, taking that damage is just worth it. Yeah, definitely. I can't imagine having to fight those enemies with your bare hands. Even fighting him with a weapon is terrible. Like, yeah. pretty much you don't even really want to fight him at all. Looks like you didn't get any health back from that. Uh, dogs don't replenish that much health. So while they do have souls, they're not much of souls. It's just the age-old question. I think a commenter actually said that, like, exact thing. <laughs> All dogs go to Raziel. I smell a Disney crossover. Dude, that is not a movie you want to show a seven-year-old, like, a puppy being murdered and then a blue man consuming his soul. Well, what's even what's even worse is that now that uh, now that SquareSoft or uh, owns uh, now that Square Enix owns IDOS, they actually could make that. Wow, I don't I I actually don't want to think about it, like any sort of Kingdom Hearts with Raziel in it. <laughs> that really hurts my brain. <laughs> So, after opening this wonderful gate, we now have access to Ustenheim, the Germanic-sounding, terrible-named village I made fun of what, very long ago. Here I discovered the quaint hamlet of Ustenheim, <laughs> now long abandoned and collapsing into a ruin. Legend claimed that Janos Ordren terrorized its villagers until the Saravan hunters ferreted him out and destroyed him. If there was any truth to the old tales, the lair of the infamous vampire will not be far away. Oh, of course, there's a demon. How could there not be? 
think it is pretty cool that they uh, that they decided to go back and revisit the blood omen in the areas. Yeah, I actually I do like that. Um, there, this is only the beginning tease of Ustenheim. We're actually going to see a lot of it. As you can see, it's not faring very well. Um, pretty much everything is just destroyed, which is not exactly how we left it in Blood Omen 1. Um, if I remember correctly, in Blood Omen 1, there were still a lot of villagers. Everything still was pretty active. So, um, either Cain did this, or the demons over time destroyed it, but it's not really answered why Ustenheim's so effed up. And... Oh, God. Alright, well, at least he's dead. So that's pretty much it for this video. Next time, we'll be going through Ustenheim and checking out the next forge. Alright, awesome. Yeah, should be great. So I'll see you guys soon. Alright, and I hope so too as well. Have a good one.